Scientists examined the RNA of the species with samples taken from the Tasmanian tiger. Scientists in Switzerland conducted a study on samples taken from the skin and muscles of the Tasmanian tiger, kept in the Natural History Museum in Stockholm. Biologist Emilio Marmol Sanchez, one of the research team, stated in his statement that they examined the RNA of the species in question, which became extinct 130 years ago, for the first time and said, RNA gives you the chance to find out the true biology of that animal by examining the cell and tissues, he said. Sanchez noted that although species resurrection was not the purpose of the research, examining the Tasmanian tiger's RNA could help with these species resurrection efforts that have begun recently by providing a better understanding of the gene structure of the species. Biologist Sanchez emphasized that understanding RNA is important for scientists to reveal a more holistic picture of the species. Professor from the University of Melbourne who is carrying out a project to ensure the survival of the Tasmanian tiger species. Dr. Andrew Pask described this development as groundbreaking. Pask pointed out that the research in question will make significant contributions to understanding the biology of extinct animals and said, Previously, we thought that only DNA samples were available in the museum, but this study showed that RNA data can also be obtained from the remains of the Tasmanian tiger, made his assessment. While DNA can be stored for millions of years if stored under appropriate conditions, RNA, a temporary copy of DNA, was thought to be shorter-lived. The last living member of the Tasmanian tiger, named Benjamin, died in the Beaumaris Zoo in Tasmania in 1936, having become extinct in other countries and regions of the world except Australia about 2,000 years ago. About twice the size of the coyote, this predatory species was known as a marsupial, like many mammals in Australia. The results of the research were published in the Journal of Gene Research.